Hi, I'm Suzanne, and Vanessa is coming today. I can't wait to see her and show her this home. Hey, Vanessa. What do we have today? Well, we have a great home with a great floor plan, but it's been tenant occupied for over three years, so it is definitely um, shows some wear and needs a facelift. All right, that's my specialty. I know. Let's okay. go check it out. Come on in. Can't wait. Well, like I said, it was tenant occupied for three years and we need to get rid of the carpet, we need to paint, just lighten it up, right? Absolutely. The light fixtures needing to come in. How about the fireplace? I just think it needs to be yeah, completely lightened up. It's gonna need some help. Let's change it. Yeah. Clean, seamless look. Yeah. Move in ready. Let's give buyers what they want. That's right. Let's do this. All right. Here you go, Suzanne. Wow, I can't believe the transformation. White paint throughout. We did the ceiling as well, plus the fireplace. You picked out the fireplace color. I did. Great job. I love the shade, actually. It wasn't too gray mm -hmm. and it wasn't beige. Right. Yeah, and it goes with the grays as well. Yeah, and then the flooring, of course, you helped choose that. Put new baseboards, new light fixtures. It's beautiful. Well, obviously it was the tenant living here, so they had to move stuff out. But I think even with sellers, with owners, moving stuff out is the number one thing to do. Absolutely. It's just so we can bring in updated furniture. How about you, I like? It just looks amazing. Good job. Thank you. Yes. Let's see the next room. All right, let's do it. Let's check out the dining room. Does it look great? Look at this. You remember it before? Wow. It had a table that was about 90 inches. Yes. I measured everything. I always do that. Right. And I know it can accommodate something bigger, yeah. but you always want to show more space. Yeah. And it had that huge buffet here and just everything was loaded up with whatever stuff. It looks so good. It's so clean. Like I said, the white. It's beautiful. Yes. When I told you white and when you told your sellers white, mm -hmm. they kind of freaked out. They thought that, that would be absolutely boring and I reassured them that it's gonna look great. And they came in after everything was done, so they're happy. You know, people get so scared when I advise them to paint it white. One, because they're used to having color, but two, maybe they're imagining the white with the glossy sheen. But I say our furniture will accent those walls. And that way the client or the buyer can envision themselves here. If they want to paint the wall a different color, they can do it, but at least it's a blank canvas and it's just super clean and fresh. So tell me about this chandelier. Well, Vanessa's amazing record. What type of light fixtures, right? Which I love. And I ordered what she had requested. Yeah, I make the suggestions, but then you kind of get an idea as to what I want. Appreciate that. I think it turned out fine. Looks really nice. The light fixture before was not current at all, right? Absolutely. It's the first thing people see when they walk into a room. Right. And another thing about light fixtures is it's part of the decor. It's not just how we saw it as just for lighting, but it's an accent piece. We want it to stand out. It's an accessory, right? It's all part of it. Okay, I can see the kitchen from here. Let's take a look. Okay. as painting the cabinets and putting new hardware, right? This was also a struggle because they said, can't we just leave the cabinets as they are and change the hardware? But I think it turned out fabulous. And we also, new light fixtures, did the new um, recessed lighting. They had the great stainless appliances. So I think it looks really good. The number one thing is it feeling clean and new. Want to keep the cabinet wood. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it, but it was just an outdated style. And I feel that buyers just want something turnkey and they might not appreciate the purity of wood, right. but I feel that the cabinets being painted makes the house feel like it's newer. Absolutely. If they wouldn't originally chosen white, then they can change it. Yes, but it looks really good. And they can still continue to live with it, but should they want to remodel, at least they're not living with something old. Exactly. If you feel the things I do, I might need some help if you let me. kitchen feels bigger. Right. Great job. Yeah. Let's go see the bedroom. Okay, let's go. Looks good, right? For so long, I've 
I've been thinking that we're more than just This was a bedroom, and it still can be a bedroom, but we chose to have it staged as an office because as we know, everybody's working from home. This looks great. You have a clean desk, you have a nice little sofa, and you could always change the furniture around in order to have another bedroom if you needed. This conveys that you have dual function. Someone can sleep here, someone can do work here. Exactly. Okay, bedroom number two. Number two, yeah. Let's go. I love you a little to see where this is going. Looks great. Classic bedroom. Same thing. Just paint, new flooring, light fixture. We're good to go. I couldn't really see this room too much because there were people inside. It was working. So I took a quick snap and then I said, let's, let's showcase this room and make it feel bigger. Yeah. So we have a full-size bed in here and it can fit a desk as well because everyone's working from home. Yeah. Or it could be the children's room where they're doing their sport. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yes. Oh, and zooming. Cool. Distance learning. This is learning? Yeah. What's that all about? It's crazy. <laughs> but we need that desk for that child. We do. So yeah, we were able to fit in a bed and a desk nicely and it still shows a lot of space. Yes. Looks good. Light and bright. Right now we're running around in circles. But if you don't even want to try, I need to know it. Can we just all... Yeah. Last but not least is the master bedroom. We remember that the closet doors were all removed and so they had them packed full of things. Funky shelving situation going on in the corner. So anyways, carpet gone, new floor, new baseboards, painted, light fixtures, which is great. return on investment 100 yes the sellers are very pleased and you know the buyers they just know it's moving ready so yeah they're excited everybody's happy okay and last but not least is the master bathroom right so i find the master bathroom being one of the most important areas because they want a bigger master bedroom and a spacious master bathroom correct and this one was very cluttered we remember we had a e litter box in here and crazy storage going on so just cleaned it up and again painted new light fixtures it looks great and you had a fun discovery. We did, because we did not know that there was a light fixture <laughs> behind that storage situation. We were able to get more creative and we've got three lights in here, so it's a light and bright bathroom. It feels a lot bigger than it's what I remembered. Absolutely, that's what happens when you get rid of the dark walls. So white ceiling, white walls, same color. Same color. Mm -hmm. Same sheen. Mm -hmm. We don't have to go through a complicated process of trying to find a color per room. That's very dated. Um, and if people want to do that, once they purchase the home, how about it? Great job, Suzanne. I'm getting this home ready and sold so quickly. Thank you for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Now, what are the three takeaways for sellers? Well, I would say there's three things. Number one is you want to have the home vacant. You want to have it fixed up and return key for the buyers. You want to, of course, have it staged. You want to be able to have accessible to people anytime. Okay. So move out, clean up, mm -hmm. and get out. <laughs> well, have it staged, right? Okay, yeah. have it staged. That was critical. Completely critical. Completely critical. Yeah. But also get out and making it accessible for anyone to come see anytime. Now, during consultation, when I'll say, well, I do recommend new lines painting, new hardware, new flooring, just everything that I recommend, they start worrying, right? Because it does start to add up, but the thing is you're going to get a return on that investment and you have to look at it as an investment. And then the buyers are happy because it's a turnkey product. That makes a lot of sense that sellers focus on getting the home ready without stressing out financially. Correct. And it's a stress to be living in a home and showing a home. So it's better. They can move out. We can pay. Comes concierge will pay for hotel expensive. stuff that needs to be done. Really? Are you okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because we stage a lot of occupied homes and they don't have a place to go and they have their pets yes. and it's stressful. It's stressful. Children's got distance learning and they have to work from home. How do you alleviate that stress? They can um, stay at a hotel or maybe they just want to go to a little getaway somewhere, maybe stay with relatives, even if it's just for a weekend or maybe five day period to allow better access for that. But if at all possible, it's best to have the seller move out. Cool. Okay, and you're the perfect person to guide them, try to stay calm. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this home with our audience because it lets them see the full-on transformation
transformation and the possibilities that can happen in a small home, in a big home, whatever. That's the goal and uh, just to make them happy. When we're talking, it's insignificant for us, but I think for our viewers, they love seeing behind the scenes seeing the transformation and it actually now help seeps in for them the possibilities and the things that they need to do to get to the end result right it's just a few steps and we can do that for them great well, job Vanessa. great thank job you. thank you Suzanne and that's it everyone thank you for watching please be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already leave your comments down below Call this lady for your real estate needs. She'll take great care of you. Hi there, I'm Suzanne Garcia, and I'm with Compass Real Estate. I'm a realtor, and I would love to help you through the process, either selling your home or purchasing, and I can be reached at 650-924-5772, and my email address, Suzanne.Garcia at compass.com. I'm here to be your guide, and I would love to help you. Until next time, we'll see you at the next paint job. That's right. Thank white, you. white, and white. Light, light, and light. And move out. <laughs> All right.